What's going on, everybody? I am Caleb, a.k.a. Clone Clocks, and welcome back to Five Nights at Tubby Land. And now, before we, um, start the even better version, I actually want to say that Dipsy actually has a jump scare, but we didn't get to see it because, uh, uh, he, uh, the demo only goes up to night two, and he's supposed to activate in night three. So, we, so, yeah, this is his jump scare animation. And this is, this is the sound. Or the scream. So, yeah. Um. So, before we get, do anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and head to my, this PC downloads video games. Let's see, where is it? Oh, I thought I didn't make a folder for, for a second. Okay, I'm um, gonna delete this because we don't because so I can save my storage. Warning: This game contains loud noises, flashing lights, and a ton of jump scares. Make sure to be mindful of your game volume. Welcome to the full game of Five Nights at Tubbylands. So yeah. Let's go ahead and hit new game. Tubby Land Entertainment, a band restaurant preparing over once again, looking for a night guard to watch the world bags from 12 to 6. Monitor cameras ensure the safety of the foreign trucks. Tubby Land Entertainment is not responsible for injuries or death. Two to four eight dollars a week to apply. Call one eight 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 Tub Tub Land. It's by the way, it changed a lot from the demo. I'll explain what I mean in a second. Or something. 
Now, most of the animatronics are just a pale shadow of what they used to be. Kind of creepy if you ask me. And since then, the company has been struggling. Anyways, back to the animatronics. Kinky Winks used to stop moving when watched on the cameras due to a malfunction in his ear. This malfunction allows certain sounds given off by your camera to be a lot louder than they should be. Hell, honestly, it should even call a complete test of reboot, making him stop in his tracks. As for Lala, her systems are in surprisingly good condition for someone without a head. So you might just want to close the door on your left if you see her on your left door cam. Um, we haven't been able to install a door on your right side though due to budget cuts, but I'm sure it won't be a problem. The only ones that really come from that side are Tinky, Winky, and Po, which you shouldn't have too much of a problem keeping at bay. Um, as for Dipsy, he seems to still be in a sleep. Um, we are working on trying to get him to start moving, so that might take us a few days. Well, um, I think that's it. Yep, uh, use the camera. Uh, keep the music box fun up. Uh, just check the door here and there. You get the idea. Anyways, good night and good luck. Finally, that was the longest phone call on the channel, I think. So, now that I can explain stuff, you can see that Critolius really changed a lot. So Poe, he changed it. He changed Poe's design, Tiki Winky's design, Lawless's design, and Dipsy's design. So yeah, for Poe, you wanna keep this music box wound up. For Tinky Winky, just watch him on the cameras. A lot of people seem to miss Tinky Winky. He's if you can't see him, he's right here. Uh, Lala just closed the door. Oh, and this right here is just a hallucination that pops up every once in a while when you pull down the cameras. That is baby face. Or the baby in the sunshine, if you know what I'm talking about from the Teletubbies TV show. And something kind of weird is that the sound of putting down the camera is actually actually sounds like it's coming from the left, uh, not... It's only it only comes out of the right speaker, not from both. So it sounds like it's coming from the left rather than in front of you. So yeah, for Tinky, for so yeah, Lala. If you ever see her in camera, usually you're supposed to see her in camera alpha and then close the door. But if you but she can enter the office through camera one A. So you should close the door if you see her there too. Yeah. However, remember when I remember when I said in the beta version of this game that there was a bug where if you just keep the cameras up, then Lala can't enter the office and it will just simply move to another room. Uh, well, it's still in this version of the game. I guess Cretolius just didn't notice it until later. So, yeah. Yeah. You look around, you can tell that Critolius really changed the law. I really wish Critolius just went with how he originally planned it, but eh, it's his decision, not ours. And also, if you if you look here, you can see that the power the door power drains a lot slower than than it did prior in the beta. Or the demo, whatever you want to call it. You might remember, um, uh, employee number three, the person on the phone. That's what his name is. He mentioned that. All the information he got was got was gathered from a previous night guard. I have a theory that maybe the may 
I have a theory that maybe the the guard was um actually the um the guard for Five Nights at Dipsy's. Um, we just never saw his Five Nights because yeah, well, he is confirmed to be male. Uh, we just never saw his Five Nights because um. We just never saw his five nights. So yeah. And well, and st so yeah. What was I about to say? I was about to say something else, but I don't remember what. I remember the hours, yeah, you can tell that the hours are really long in this game. Like, that phone call, like, we're already at 11 minutes and 47 seconds, it's, it's, it's 5 a.m. I think it just turned to 5 a.m. too. I don't know why she just stares into the camera like this. Oh, and now I remember what I was going to say. Employee number three actually preferred to Poe as a he. However, Poe is is female. Come on, Critulius, why did you do that? You should. If obviously, obviously, you've been watching the Teletubbies for years, and how could you? How could you miss? How could you forget the? Well, I guess I can't blame him because when I watched the Teletubbies a lot as a kid, um, Poe. I always thought Poe was a boy. I don't know why I did. I just did. There we go, first night down. <laughs> 